Hello. Okay, I thought I'd take the opportunity to make a quick video. So, this is a 1000C regular, regulated thermocouple. I'm putting straight in the middle of the burn chamber. Uh, I'm just testing at the moment using my heater. Let me grab some gloves. And uh, turn him up. up there. Ouch! So, the probe it was going to be right in the middle of the flame. So, hopefully, it's going to do what I want it to do. Um, I've had to draw through the back, as you can see. Got a couple washers either side, but let's do injection. <laughs> because I need to put some gum gum around there. Because the cable diameter is uh, smaller than the hole. <laughs> so I don't want any, want any heat coming out the back of there, so I'm going to have to gum gum that up. But it will be interesting to see. I can't wire this whole thing permanent onto the board because now it's become part of the burn chamber and needs to be removable. Okay, bye for now. Hello. Right, tagged on the end of this video is another video. So actually, so I'm on number one setting, 172. Yeah, but I've got a thermocouple actually inside the burn chamber. Yeah, and as you can see, it's reading 820. Now that's rated right, at a thousand, then it just zones out. It's not readable anymore. So I've got a little bit of supercharger on. I'm on. Heat setting one. You can hear the oil glugging in the jug. Yeah. Right. Had a serious meltdown. You see, like these plugs here. Yeah. I was using the spaces at the top. Yeah. Just whilst I was building it up, and I left them in there. And they actually melted into the fins. I haven't bothered pulling them out yet. But let me see if I can um, get you to hear when you bring in hot oil. Right, I'm going to do it on number one as well. So I don't do it on number one, I'm going to scale out on that, I reckon. Okay, both pumps. Let's bring in some oil. Well, if you heard that whoosh then, it's already done enough. That's the five. I'm still going. A bit more oil. Sounds like I've turned it up to number three. It's on number one. Keep that in focus for you. Of course, these temps are rising as well. So the bottom one is right beside the sensor. So I have had to sort about with the sensor so it doesn't give me that shutdown state. That sensor only runs for a 5 volt circuit, so I've only put 1k resistor into it. No, and it's been through the day, oh, we're already on 926, you can hear it booming. Okay, I'll get more on. I just can't see that's right. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when I started it out, I was expecting it to show me 300 degrees, something like that. But when I look at my nickel strips, when I when I apart, 
they were like a really nice green colour. And the top of the burn chamber looked like it was sandblasted. Okay, we're up to 205, 205 on the head. Um, we're still climbing in the chamber 949. Okay, that's about to go. Oh, that just seems mad. It's that temperature. So the emissions are going to drop down a bit. Mm -hmm. Not like we don't want to turn that. I'll turn that fan speed up. So I'll turn the pump speed up and everything. I'm just trying to keep it in a safe window. And we're climbing again. What did I have? Oh, I had a heat exchange of temperature there. 245. And before I wrapped the exhaust, it was 251 as it was just going in. Yeah, so I've wrapped it to keep the heat in. We're still climbing. We're still climbing there. The actual radiant heat from it, yeah, which is quite uh, obviously from the cat and here, the radiant heat rising brings this temperature up by 10 degrees as well. Okay, still going. I put the old temperature up to 56. See, I was working on the basic. Right, I honestly thought it was going to be about 250 degrees in there, so I thought, right, 250 degrees, and I get the oil up to 50, that's 300 degrees, that's the flash point of oil. Well, clearly not, I was, I'm certainly, I'm way off that, my calculations were, that's 972, or number one. No wonder I had a meltdown. But no, nothing was busted. Nothing was busted. Did they burn out the sensor on the the heat sensor on the top? It just chose to shut itself down. Oh, why are you coming? Oh yeah, talking to me, aren't you? Okay. Right, it's gonna be a bit less easel. Running too rich. Okay, that's okay. That's not gone over the thousand C mark, which is what it did when I start. When you start it up, it just sends up a load of H's on there. And I think they're H's, they could be Z's, I don't know. But it goes way beyond that on the starter. And we still got a very high change of temperature at the front. But it's on the 37, I think I can live with that. Let's cut down the diesel. Oh, that's actually running on sod all now. I don't know how. Well, these don't know what to swing around. Hey, what are you up to? Okay. I've turned the diesel in. This is off, so you should be leaning out, not going the other way. Come on, come back. What are you doing? That's only five minutes. You want some more air? Okay, a bit more air, not supercharger. Okay, that dropped it by one. Now it's back up again. <laughs> not going anywhere there. But even on number one, we're still climbing up. Look, 242. Now, that is running 
not even running on diesel anymore because that knob is all the way in. So this is running on hot oil. 1060 mobile, mobile 1. Oh, that's got some energy in it. You think it's stalled out? That's lovely. It's fucking nice. Okay, you're still climbing, aren't you? Come in and show me those H's. No, it's just a fucking mad little fan speed sensor. So it's only putting four volts. It's not all really, isn't it? I changed the fan because the fan was getting rather worn out. Well let me just try and try something while you're there. Now you listen to this. So if I screw the plastic cap on the end, yeah, you can see the the chamber change. If I put the air filter on the end, it still changes. You yeah, yeah. see. Nine, six, nine, nine, six, nine. You're gonna make me out a liar now, aren't you? Nine, seven, eight. You screw the plastic thing on the end. It really does restrict the air. There we go. That is crazy temperatures, isn't it? That really is. You just feel the top of that. Mm. Mm. Cookie cookie. 197. So I put my probe beside the shutdown probe. But I've also put one K resistor in the return line. Of course. on the head, top of the, top of the heat changer. Okay, I'm getting to the stage now, I'm going to get on working in the car, the new motorbikes. If I think my emissions are good, I've got ad blue running through it, which fucking stinks the cat's this, but it does bring the emissions down. I don't know what's going to happen. Already 255 on the front. I don't want another meltdown stage. Yep. I think. I think this is done. It's cooked. This works. I'm going to just turn the diesel completely off so I'm not sure. I did have that screw turn all the way in. So we are running without doubt on very hot oil. You can hear it's making a nice noise. I don't know why this other microphone is picking it up. It's making that noise. Well, let me show you what you trust again on the two. 260, I'm going to give it some air, I don't want it to shut down on me. Get away. Get away. Come on. Pull down the buffer. Yes, yeah, it's going to be down to 9.7. Oh, that's 
Thermal couple running through the middle of it to make the temperature of the oil, yeah. So that's about here. But I, I'm using it as a breather plus to get the probe in there. The same as I'm doing with this oil tank, yeah. So the last thing you want to do is tap them off completely, give them no air, and cook the granny out of them because they will explode in your face. So that's why this one's got a breather that I build a hole straight through the tank. And there's the probe from this gauge that the burner in the hole right down into the tank. I'm well, making a funny noise, aren't you? It's still quite happy. Time of 61. Alright. I think we're done. Don't see what else I could possibly add to that board. So I've got hot fuel lines. There. Well, they're on red, so the fuel lines are running at 50 C. The oil lines. Um, I don't think I'm putting a lot of amps. No, I'm not. I've got no idea what these pissing around with. I've got my ad blue going in there. And I'm just going to have the brake lines on the counter. Remember that. We give up on this bloody thing. We're up to 260 again. Get more air. Yeah. Come on, Fifth Garden. Have a whiz. of me babbling on. Sorry about that guys. I was quite away with myself being concentrating. I'm not too sure if this is the sort of thing I'd want to leave on to go and have a dump. Yeah, I really don't think it is. I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't got that much confidence in it yet. I've got confidence in the work that I've done and all my high compression joints and my viscosity on the hot oil side. I wanted to make sure they were all copper and compression fittings. Okay, five and out. Okay, back again. Still on number one. Oh, well, brought up the supercharger quite a bit. My emissions have gone back to zero. Got a nice in chamber temperature of 882C. I've got a heat exchanger temperature of 217 and steady and still neat and climbing. What I want to do is go in and make a cup of tea. But I think I can risk it. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. As long as that's holding, it's the main thing. Let's get the laser on. It's coming down. We'll see better. There it goes back up again. I did do that and he walked near it. Okay. We are running on stuff and it's very nice and it's not stinky it's clean and my number one okay I would add another one on the end I'll do a shutdown cycle and show you how I clear it all out and blow it down clean okay I'm gonna try and do this Seventeen, twenty, 
that's green. Okay, I'm just about to shut it down. It's been running on diesel now for about 10 minutes, clearing itself out. It's on number one. The temperature of 169. Yep, 169. Right, let's go with as programmed shutdown. Right. And off. Pump switch is off as it should. Right, let's see what it makes of what I've done to the sensor. Because the fan should run either turn off earlier or run forever. I don't know yet. Burn chamber temperature, look at that. That's crazy, and it's 726. You wouldn't want to juggle with that. That's proper, proper hot. Okay, it's doing its glow plug bit. Yes, it is. So I will not sort about until this thing has actually finished doing what it thinks it should do. Then I take it from there. Okay. Why are you at Oh yeah, you're at 2 volts because you've got a glow plug on. Temperature not dropping yet. Right, I can turn the oil off for the night. Don't need that on. I've already turned the app off. Turn the O2 sensors off. Okay. So it's trying to cool down. Five volts. It's very strange. I mean, when you think it's on like number six, it only pulls just under eight volts for a 12 volt fan. But I can show you what I do with it in a minute when it's finished doing what it wants. I guess it's basically off these temperatures, the, the bottom one. Yeah, because that's right beside the original thermocouple or temperature sensor, whatever you want to call it. 78. Come on. I want to go in. Okay, this could take a while. Can't wait to do better than that. Okay, I'm going to do it with the supercharger. Supercharger. Flat out. Come on, come down. So what the supercharger is also doing is pushing any muck out the back of the mesh, yeah, and any carbon deposits or ash that's in the burn chamber. I was planning on doing something with exhaust where I had like an ash trap so it come down with a little bit sticking off the bottom so the ash would drop into there rather than filling up the car. But the main thing was just to get it running the star. Right. It's still shutting down, okay. It's still saying off. Oh, this I'll shut my supercharger down, let's see. Oh, there we go. Alright, you finished, have you? Okay. So that looks like about 42 degrees. Alright, now I do my bit. Supercharger. 
main fan, 12 volts. But now we really are blowing it, blowing it cold. Not only is it blowing it cold, it's clearing out anything that's left in that combustion chamber. Okay, that means I can touch that now. Yes, I can. And it's not burning me. So they're not lying. Off with that, off with the supercharger, and okay, we have shut down. The nuclear reactor has shut down safely, and we haven't got a Chernobyl to go to bed with. Okay, let it out.